Okay, what the Fed is going on? Fed raised interest rates again for the highest interest rate hike in 15 years. In 2022, the Fed raised the interest rate seven times, seven times in 12 months, and this time they raised it another half a percentage point. These interest rate hikes started in March. In March, the Fed raised it by 25 basis points. In May, they raised it by 50 basis points. In June, they raised it 75 basis points. In July, another 75 basis points. In September, another 75 basis points. In November, another 75 basis points. And again, December 14th, another 50 basis points. The most aggressive move since 1980. Now, when this whole thing started and they indicated they would start raising rates, I was telling everyone, this can get to seven, eight, maybe 9%. And, you know, people are like, no, it's not gonna go that high. It's not gonna go much higher than 5%. And I'm thinking more like seven, eight, nine. Looks like they're going there because they actually indicated that 2023 will bring yet more interest rate hikes. So what does that mean for you as a home buyer? Well, it means what I said in the beginning of the year, you need to get yourself some real estate. Now, I honestly believe that this is gonna be a lot different than we've ever seen before. This inflation is being created on purpose, obviously to pad the spending that the government has been frenzied on since 2020 trillions everywhere and now we have to pay the bill back however i personally do not believe it's going to come back to a point where people can afford homes i do believe this is going to start to be the outset of pricing people out of affording real estate for the most part ever i know that sounds really fantastic but if you have not heard of the concept of the great reset you don't realize that there are a few key people, namely Klaus Schwab, that believes the world should be run in a way where you own nothing and you are happy. I do believe it's going in that direction. Will it get there? Well, it's aggressively being pushed in that direction. And I think one of the most important moves that has to be made to get to that place is to make sure that the majority of people cannot own land. Land is the absolute only tangible asset that you can have that will not really be destroyed, cannot go away. It's always going to mean something. The earth will have to blow up for land to not have value. It's the only thing you're ever going to be able to own that gives you an actual asset. So my advice is going to be always, because it is the only way to ensure that you have something that will always increase in value, always act as an asset, always be able to stay within your family and always be able to create wealth. Now, we don't know where the interest rate hikes will stop. We don't know if anybody's gonna step in and begin to bring it down. We don't know what is in plan for the future of being able to own your own asset, the most important asset you can have, which is real estate. But we do know it is going in a place where if you don't have it, Frankly, you may not get it. Now, this is not one of those Debbie Downer videos, and I don't want to scare anybody. But seriously speaking, it's probably time you start thinking about future assets, future holdings, what's important to your family. You may not want to be in a position where, you know, you just can't do it. You're never going to be able to do it. So, of course, for all you guys there that, like in my, my list and everybody out there that you think you want to buy a home, I personally would not wait to see interest rates come down. That's probably not going to happen anytime soon. And if you see something very interesting, other than California, which to me is not significant enough a drop, the prices of real estate are not really coming down. They are kind of being stabilized. They're dropping just a little tiny bit. It's going to end up going up again. And you have to start thinking in the realm of, am I ever going to be able to invest in real estate? I think this is a time not only to buy, but to buy with the thought of creating money from your house, to buy with the thought of creating a portfolio of holdings, and to buy with the thought of having something for your future generations. So what do you guys think about the Fed hike? 
let me know. Tell me where you think it's going. Tell me if it's gonna push you to do something or even tell me about the idea of own oh, nothing, be happy. Do you think you would be in a better position if the government just gave you a bit of money every month and you could just do what you want and just, you know, live in a way that's kind of more like, you know, I guess I wanna say kids getting an allowance or do you wanna be able to maintain the freedom to grow income? Tell me what you think. Again, my advice is always going to be build generational wealth own land is the only tangible asset there is and now it's way beyond just getting a house i have new advice which is get houses create money from them create your own income it's no longer time to rely on somebody else paying you and it's probably and to me it's certainly not a time to start saying hey give me an allowance and i can be happy by owning nothing tell me what you think about that and of course i love you thanks for tuning in happy living and i will talk to you soon